Good evening to you. A family in Houston is remembering their loved one tonight who was killed by walking his dog on Easter. It happened in a Sawyer Heights apartment parking lot and tonight police announced a public safety meeting that they think he was targeted. Fox 26's Abigail Dye joining us live after talking with the victim's family. Abigail. Yeah, Rashi, my heart's really with them tonight. I can only imagine losing a loved one in a way like this. And like you said at that meeting, police did want to stress that they think this is a targeted killing. They didn't want people who live in the area like me and you to walk around and fear an attack like this when you're simply, you know, walking your dog. But police do say that they are still investigating and they're chasing down some solid leads. 23-year-old Chris Denson Hill gunned down while walking his dog. Oh, he didn't deserve to be gunned down like that outside of his apartment. His sister, Christian, didn't want to show her face, so she told us over the phone about the last time that she saw her little brother. It was hard. It was, it was real hard. It was not something I was expecting. My brother actually came to church with a Sunday and um, gave his life back to Christ. He stood up and gave his life back to Christ. Just hours later, around 11 p.m. on Summer Street, Hill was shot several times. It's a tragedy. It's real for that family, and uh, it's going to be a hole that will never get filled. So our role at this point really is to try to find justice for the victim. Assistant Chief Megan Howard addressed the several area residents who showed up to the divisional safety meeting Tuesday, wanting to make one thing clear. This was not a random act. Um, this individual may may well have been targeted. Police say they can't release much else, but are chasing down all leads. He just was outside at the wrong time. That's all I can say. He was outside at the wrong time, and it shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened, really. Now, Hill's sister says that their family now has his dog that he was walking that night. And again, our hearts are completely with that family. I can only imagine what they're dealing with. Now, if you do have any information, please call 713-222-TIPS. That is the Crime Stoppers tip line. When you call that number, you remain completely anonymous. No one knows who's calling, and your information could end up getting you a cash reward. Reporting live, Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News. Yes.